Hey people, what's up? I'm back again, and um, I gotta ask this question. Why do people pop their collars like this? Why, why do they put them up like this? I don't, I don't understand. I just, uh, I don't know. It, it looks, almost looks like they, like cocky. Eh, I don't like it. But um, okay, so I'm back to do my top five uh, female fronted pop singers or whatever. Just female pop singers. That's good enough. And um, you know, I feel like no matter who I mention, people are gonna be like, oh my god, that's so lame. What are you going to do? You know, I, I feel like no matter what I say, people are going to think they suck. But, you know, this is my opinion, and if I had to pick five, these are going to be my five. Okay, so number five. I'm going to have to go with... She's a newer artist right now, and she's out right now, and she's killing it right now. Like, her songs are all over the radio. You know, she's, she's going to be huge, if she's not already. And it's Katy Perry. And, um, you know... I think she's a good singer. I think she's a good performer too. Um, she's got this whole like um, glamour thing going on where she wears like these like these old school like glamour looking stuff, which is okay. But um, I don't know. Everybody's heard "I Kissed a Girl." When I first heard it, I was like, yeah, it's pretty catchy. I mean, I'm kind of over it now because I've heard it so many times. But like, she she actually has some other really good songs in her album too. Um, I know "Hot and Cold" is out right now, and I know. That's getting played a whole bunch, and um, that's a good song too. And she has a other some other bright gems on that album too. Um, there's a song called um, "Waking Up in Vegas" or "Vegas." That song is really, really, really catchy. Um, she has a song called um, "You're So Gay," which is just kind of like mocking people how you know any little thing you do, like they use it as a negative term, like you know. Like just like she's just talking about people who call their people gay for no apparent reason. It's just stupid. But um, it's, it's a, that's another good song too. And I, you know, I I like her. I think she's cool. She was on Warp Tour, which I went to. I didn't see her. I wanted to, but she was performing like at like at 8:30. So, anyways, you know, I think she's cool, and she's my number five. Number four, I'm gonna have to go with Avril Lavigne. I'm kidding. It's Avril Lavigne. And um. I remember when she first came out, I was like, who is this person, you know, like, um, I remember she came out with Complicated, and I actually really liked the video because it's shot in a mall, and you all know me and my mall obsession, and, um, you know, I thought it was cool, I thought she was a little over the top, like, I remember when she came out, she was so like, I don't wear dresses, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm such a tomboy, you know, like, she would just act really stupid in the beginning of her career. And um, I remember Skater Boy came out, and I still like that song. I think it's a good song. And then all of a sudden, she came out with a second album. And then all of a sudden, like she's like, oh, you know, I don't, I'm no longer a tomboy. I'm, I'm a girl now. And it's just like, okay, I mean, I don't know. But, but that second album has some good, like all her songs that she came out with. Man, they're catchy. Good stuff. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna front on that. I mean, she, she can perform a, a catchy number or two. Um, also, I hated when she had the whole tie thing. She would always wear the wife beaters with the tie. God, that was so stupid. But, um, and then she came out with this newest one, which which is not bad. It has some decent songs on there, too. But the only thing is, like, I, I think she has some, some really catchy, good songs. But sometimes the way she acts is just, oof, way over the top. Like, sometimes she tries to be, like, they call her the, um, don't they call like, punk princess? Isn't that what they call her? I'm like, hmm. You, sorry, you're no punk princess at all. But it's just, you know, like if she didn't, if she just acted normal, I would like her a lot more. But that was my number three. No, that was my number four. Sorry, and that was Avril Lavigne, and she's from Toronto, so that's cool too. Number three is Kelly Clarkson. Now, um. I remember she came out with like that album right after American Idol and I was like, eh, I didn't like any of those songs. And then she came out with um, Since You've Been Gone and Man, that's a great song. I mean, that's just an all-around great pop song altogether. Um, it's really, I remember that album, she came out with like what, like eight singles? Like the whole album is a single. And um, I don't know, pretty much every song she came out with was, on that album was really catchy. It's just the only bad thing is like, they, like every radio station would play every song she came out with like a hundred times like I just it's like okay calm down with the Kelly Clarkson I know she's great and all but we don't need to hear you know each song once every hour you know that's there's like eight million artists out there we don't need to hear only her 
And, um, yeah, you know, she came out with those songs. And and then I remember recently, she came out with her latest one. I think it's called My December. Yes, I believe so. And um, what was cool was I remember, like, she was fine with her record label head honcho guy. And I remember, you know, they wanted her to, to scrap the album because... You know, it was all. It wasn't too. Com- it wasn't commercial enough, or it wasn't pop enough. And she's like, "I'm standing my ground." You know, this is my album. I wrote these songs, and I want them on the album. And you know, she's like, "I'm not. I'm not folding. This, this is. You know, I'm doing this." And then she came out the album, and like, I, apparently, I guess nobody bought it. And she then she gave in, and then she's like, "Okay, I'll do it your way. Let's write a pop album." And that's a shame because honestly, like the single she came out with was really good. You know, like really good. And then there's a song called Sober, which was I think it was they played it on the first episode of Smallville, season seven. I think like the it, it's at the end of the first episode. And man, that song is really good too. And there's a song called um, One Minute. Oh god, it's so 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 catchy. Really good stuff. I mean, but it's just it's just sad that you know like. It didn't sell well, and now she's caving into the record label, and now she's gonna come out with probably the poppiest crap. But, anyways, that was my number three, Kelly Clarkson. Number two, I'm gonna have to go with. You, you probably saw my other video how at one point I had a little obsession with Hillary Duff. It's over now. It's okay, guys. I'm over it. I went to the Hillary Duff clinic. You know, so I'm over it. But, um,. I don't know, she came out with her latest album, Dignity, and um, there was some really... I mean, there's some songs that were kind of, eh, like, like I remember she came out with, um, with Love, and that song's okay. You know, she has a tendency to put out, like, way over-the-top poppy songs, but there's some some songs in there, like... There's some, some songs that kind of have, like, a smooth, like, just chilling vibe to it. Like, it just, like, relaxing, soothing songs, and they're good. You know, like, you should give them a chance. Like, there's a lot of, like, really, like, dancey-ish like not like club dancey but just kind of like you know i don't know it's hard to explain but i was really surprised by it like i i put them on like you know i put some of her songs on my little on my on my ipod you know i'll have like rise against come on and then i'll have hillary duff come up next and then the next track will be like gym class heroes and then i'll go to like bayside and then you know it'll go to like kids in glass houses you know it's just she it, it fits in there nicely you know, it's fine. It's okay to like different stuff, people. But, um, yeah, you know, I thought that album was surprisingly pretty decent. Had some really strong songs, but then also had some really not-so-strong songs that I wouldn't be caught dead with or hearing. But, um, but yeah, you know, she, she's not as bad as everybody thinks. And I'm sure everybody likes um, Fly, you know, her, her old stuff. But, um, yeah, that was my number two. Two, sorry. Number one, and I think she's great, and I think everything she puts out is really great, and it's Ashley Simpson. I know people hate Ashley Simpson. I don't know why. I think she's I think she's cool, man. I think, you know, everything she does, like, she puts out, it's, like, it's really, like, what's going on, you know? She's very, I don't know, she, she's cool. She's, you know, she's like a trendsetter, you know? Like, I remember her first album was more, like, alternative, like, you know, it was more of a, yeah, alternative with, like, a little punk edge here and there. You know, like, it was great. Like, I, a lot of people like it. I like it, too. And, and then she came out with the next one, I Am Me. And that one was more like a dancey vibe type of thing. But, man, I really enjoyed that one, too. I mean, there's some, there's some great songs, like, Burning Up. Like, I love that song. Like, I remember I was walking through the mall and I heard it in, like, one of the songs, like, one of the stores, like, one of the women's clothing stores. I was like, man, that's, I forgot how good that song is. And um, LOV is a good song. And then she just came out with her, her latest one, which is great, too. Like, Out of My Head, I cannot get that song out of my head. Literally. No pun intended. But um, I don't know. I think she's great, man. I think she she's, she seems like a really cool person. She's married to Pete Wentz. And um, when, she, when she did that lip-syncing thing on Saturday Night Live, that was awesome, people. Like, I mean, I thought that was so cool. And you know how she played it off? That was kind of cool, you know. But um, yeah, she's definitely my number one female pop artist. She'll probably will probably no, I don't think anybody's gonna come out that I'm gonna like better than her. So there you guys have it. Those are my top five female pop or singers, whatever. And I hope you enjoyed this video and um, thanks for all the subscribers. Peace out people.